Okay. So very high level. This is just updates, really. Um, feel like this is long overdue. So it's about time we make this video, although no one really ever asked for it. I'm gonna do it anyways. Just a lot of uh, things I thought you might like to know about what's going on with the Jeep. Um, I have a list of notes here that I've made that we'll, uh, we'll talk about. We'll go through this one by one. But again, high level, this is just a lot of long overdue updates, kind of my thoughts on a couple things, and a bit of show and tell afterwards. So it should be fun, I think. Um, this is in no particular order. This is just a lot of general notes here. I'll start with the rust. So that was a big thing last time. And I did my best to kind of address that in a way that wouldn't involve me taking off all the body panels and replacing them. So I basically cut out as much as I could, little by little, tried to basically fabricate pieces of sheet metal to size and using adhesive, I kind of fit them where they needed to go. Um, that was a pain, that took a while, really. And it was kind of messy, not the most aesthetically pleasing way to do it. Um, sure, there are much better ways and sure, I'm probably gonna get rust again, but at least it's stopping it from getting worse. I've sprayed everything I can find on that Jeep that has rust on it with uh, Rust-Oleum, Rust Reformer. So hopefully that will, again, prevent it from getting much worse. Now, that being said, the trunk itself is still pretty much stripped down. It's all bare metal. Um, I gotta finish that. That's probably gonna be my next big project. So I'm sorry if I kind of ramble on too. Uh, there's a lot to talk about and I'm honestly, I probably should have done this little incremental videos, but nonetheless, here we are. Uh, my favorite update is that uh, I finally got new tires. I mean, this was, it has been literally a year since I got my lift installed. So you can imagine what that looks like, a three inch lift on stock tires. It basically looked like the Jeep had skipped leg day. I mean, it, it was just uncomfortable too, riding around in the stock size tires, which I wrote down as being 20, 235 by 75R by 15. So what I ended up going with was significantly better. Um, so I got Cooper Discovers. I've always been a fan of Coopers. I've had them on every Jeep I've had, uh, minus the Wrangler. Yeah, I did not have those on the Wrangler, but I got Cooper Discoverers. These are the AT3s, the AT3 XLTs. Uh, I did some research, you know, I was looking for price. Number one, that's a big thing. I didn't want to be spending you know, $300, $250 on new, uh, new tires. Uh, so I think these were priced around 180. I could be very off. I wish I wrote down the price here, but nonetheless, I got a good deal on them. They're having a rebate as well. So it was a good time. So I decided to just go for it, bite the bullet, bought new tires, and here we are. So these new sizes, the new size is 31 by 10 and a half by R15. So same wheel size, uh, did not want to have to buy new wheels. That would have been another expense that I just did not want, want to add on. And uh, the new size is the biggest size that I can fit with this lift. So with a three inch lift, uh, I can fit 31 inch tires and the biggest width I can put on is 10 and a half. I think it makes a significant difference. I mean, it, in terms of ride quality, overall appearance, it just looks amazing. Um, much more aggressive. And I will say as I'm driving, it just glides. It is so smooth, so much better. It handles amazingly well. And I don't know if that's just the Cooper Discoverers doing their thing, um, or if that's just because I have new tires. I mean, it's probably a bit of both. Um, I do, however, have a little bit of rubbing in a couple spots. Um, in fact, it really just one spot, really, uh, on the control arms, the lower control arms. And I'm wondering 
if I had kept the original control arms, which I'm, I didn't want to obviously, if it would still be rubbing, because these are much beefier. And I'm not concerned with it by any means. Uh, I think it's okay. You know, it's only when you're completely locked out too. And as long as I, you know, consciously know not to take it that far over, I'll be fine. It's not gonna cause any issues, right? Um, so if you're looking looking to get tires, just know that these are probably the biggest size you can, you can put on. Um, I've heard of people doing bigger with wheel spacers, but I don't wanna take that risk with wheel spacers. Just not a fan. I don't like the way they look either. I don't want tires off the side of my Jeep. No, I kind of want to stay, you know, compact and look slim for the most part. Again, very happy with the, with the tires I got. Um, let's see, we talked about the difference in ride quality. The other thing that I did not recognize when I bought these is that the tires here, they have a higher, I guess, load capacity or load rating. Um, but I, supposedly, I guess those are for, these tires are for much heavier vehicles. I don't think it's gonna cause me any issues and I looked into it a little bit. Uh, I really think it's gonna be okay. Um, it might feel a bit heavier, I guess, or just a much more of an impact on the road uh, because there's not as much weight on those tires. But again, it has an effect, it doesn't have an effect on the overall handling. Um, it drives perfectly fine. And if anything, I maybe it might even add to the effectiveness of the tires, who knows? Please do your own research on that on that regard. But uh, again, haven't had any issues with it so far. Very happy with the tires. I did get an alignment done too afterwards, which you should always do. And the alignment, I when I had it done, I got it done at Bell Tire, and my goodness, it was so off from the previous tires. My um, I guess my toe, and uh, I can't remember what the other one's called. Forgive me, but uh, it was in, both tires were just like that. And uh, obviously you don't notice it when you're driving. Um, I mean, I kind of did. My my handle, my steering wheel was completely off. It just, it was very noticeable, but um, you don't really recognize it, I guess. You kind of get used to it is what I should say. Um, so that was a surprise. And uh, very happy now because everything is straight and aligned and I'm probably gonna go back in in a month and get it realigned just to be sure that nothing else has shifted. Because uh, that was one thing I did not do frequently enough when I put the lift on. I, mean, I probably I should have been a bit more proactive. I probably should have um, got it aligned like every couple months or just got it checked, just because it, the the lift kit probably has it had probably did have an effect, especially given that the tires were still factory. Well, not the factory tires, but factory size. Um, and you know, I also asked myself why why didn't I get mud tires? This is another thing I wanted to talk about. So I could have gotten mud tires. And some people did tell me to do that, but those are so much more expensive. And how often do I actually go through the mud? How, how often am I going off-roading? I Let's face it, this channel has not seen that yet. Um, it, who knows if that's gonna happen? It will, it might. Um, but again, I, I take this thing to school and I just don't have a need for it. I'm gonna be using these things as my daily driver. I don't wanna wear down $300 tires. So for the price, these things, you know, made my wallet very happy and they make me very happy. And that's what I think matters most. Um, what do we got next? Kind of, I gotta put this pen down, keep clicking it. I'm sorry if that's annoying. This was fun. Okay, so uh, I made note in my last video that I was getting this knocking noise from the back of the Jeep somewhere and it was pissing me off guys i i was like wondering what this could be i checked everything I, tr I did my best to diagnose the issue on several different areas one point i thought it could have been the ring and pinging gear at the in the uh the differential at the at the at the back i man i, I drained that thing twice you know thinking okay we're gonna strain it and take a look inside put it back together no did it again nothing there i replaced the u-joints on the jeep you know thinking again maybe there's just something rattling around replace that uh no and i guess what is the stupidest thing i have no idea how it happened the rear sway bar must have shifted over just enough so that every time the wheel made a revolution 
the sway bar would hit the inner wheel weight. And I would get this insistent knocking noise every time I turned or got up to speed. And you should have seen it. Actually, I'll show you. I think I've got a, I got, I think I got a picture um, that illustrates exactly what was going on. I should have gotten a video, but I didn't. I don't know how I would have filmed it either way, but it, I don't know, again, I don't know how it happened. Uh, I ended up just cutting off that maybe five millimeter part that shifted over. Might've been a little longer than that, but I don't, I still don't know how it shifted. It could have been bad bushings. You know, I, I don't know if it's gonna happen again. Excuse me. And we'll just have to wait and see. Um, it's not doing it anymore. I think I did that repair two months ago. It hasn't happened again. So I'm hoping it stays this way. Uh, but as always, you know, with Jeeps, there's going to be something that comes up. So I might have to look into it again. Other than that, uh, when I did the rust repairs, this is a more cosmetic update again. But when I did the rust repairs, I had to remove one of the fender flares damaged it in the process somehow. So I bought new ones. I have not put it on for the past year. I finally put it on uh, two days ago. So it's very nice not to look like I'm driving around in a trash can uh, <laughs> all the time. It actually looks like a finished vehicle. So that's awesome. Talk about that, talk about that. So what's next? Well, glad you asked. There are a couple things that I'm really looking forward to doing and that I just haven't gotten around to yet. And that's some of the more fun things that I've been just craving. Uh, number one is finishing that trunk. It has been empty, completely stripped down for over a year now. And it's been useful. I love having all the extra space, you know, for, for storage and camping and things like that. Uh, and you're not worried about, you know, trashing your carpets or things like that. You can just throw stuff back there. It's awesome. But I need it to be a bit more finished and serve a better purpose. I'm not quite sure which direction I want to take with it yet. My, my thought, my initial concept here is just to finish it off plywood uh, or maybe OSB. I don't know yet, probably plywood. It'll look a little cleaner. Uh, maybe staining it to match the interior wood trim or even just find, finding some laminate flooring to lay down in the back there on top of the plywood. Again, just to kind of give it a finished, more finished look. Um, conceptually, again, I'm not quite sure what I want to do yet, but that's the base idea. You know, just having some sort of finished flooring on that, on the Jeep. Um, giving it some storage some tie down points, some mounts for things, maybe some shelves, ultimately just better storage and making it look cleaner. Um, rockers, those things look like trash. They're absolutely terrible. Rust just beat the shit out of them. I'd beat the shit out of them. And uh, I kind of want to try to fabricate my own. And uh, we'll see how that goes. Because again, this Jeep the whole purpose is, is to learn. And so far I have learned a lot. This has been a, quite the project. And I hate that this has been over a year to put out. But it's getting somewhere and that's what matters. Windshield. This is another stupid little mistake, but a couple years ago when I first bought this Jeep in 2021, can you believe it? had this thing for two years now well the first winter i had it uh i lost my ice scraper for the windshield so i decided to just use my shovel i don't know what i was thinking but i took the shovel straight to the windshield and it just man it ruined the shit out of it i it these grooves are stuck in there now it's just uh you know anytime it rains you're just kind of looking around the grooves to try to get a good sight and i finally want to fix that so I'm going to see if I can do it myself by polishing it down somehow. That should help. And then getting new windshield wipers. I want to do, because uh, these things, I mean, I don't even know how old those are. 
They've been on there for quite some time, I can tell. They're falling apart on me. They look nasty, just like other parts of the Jeep. So that's another part that I want to get to. I think the biggest updates, again, is I fixed the sway bar, fixed the most of the rust for now. I got new tires. I'm pretty happy with that. You know, there's a lot of other little things I think I probably did to the Jeep. Um, fun story. So I was driving down the highway on my way to school and the turn signal all of a sudden just decided it would blow off as one does, right? And uh, that was a nightmare because I heard it dangling about, you know, on the little, on the little wire, just destroyed my paint in the process. And then I saw it fly by. I'm like, oh, there it goes. Like thinking in my head, there's one more thing that I gotta do. But luckily they still make replacement parts as they do for this Jeep. They have replacement parts for everything. So now I have an extra fender flare because, or not fender flare, but turn signal because they come in packs. So if the other one decides to fall off, well, I got an extra one. That's always good. Like that. Um, well, that's, that's about everything. Uh, yeah, I don't think there's much left here. No, I actually got it all. Yep. I hope you guys like this. I know it's just a lot of little updates, nothing exciting really. Well, it's exciting for me because I've got a lot of things done that I've been wanting to get done. Finally, we're at a point where I can do some more, uh, more fun things to the Jeep. Uh, if you like this, good, come along with me. This is, uh, this is quite the process. And I'm sorry, this takes so long for me to do. I've just been busy with work and school life kind of gets in the way sometimes but that's that's life and hopefully i'll be able to share some more hopefully it won't be another year before i put something out but thank you for your patience and i will uh see you guys very soon hopefully all right bye as promised a little bit of show and tell so that is me uh i know <laughs> earlier in the video i said that I hadn't gone overlanding yet, but uh, right after filming this, I ended up going. So went down to Hoosier National Forest with some friends to go camping, a little bit of overland camping. And what you're seeing here is uh, my first endeavor going off-road, and I was actually kind of terrified. So what you're going to watch and witness here is uh, me going down this really steep drop, um, which for me was so much fun. Honestly, it felt so good to finally take this thing off-road. But uh, yeah, yeah, enjoy. Oh my God. <laughs> I mean, straighten it out. Straighten it out. Go yeah, go for it, but straighten it out. Look, you're already touching. You're at the bottom. You're at the bottom. Yeah, you're there. Just go. Yes. Go for it. You're you at the bottom. Yeah, you're good, but you gotta get over that log. Yes, sir. Holy shit. <laughs> 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 Damn, dude. <laughs>